The question is simple. You're given a singly linked list, and you need to check if it's a palindrome. For example, the list 1, 2, 2, 1 is a palindrome because it reads the same forward and backward. The list 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 is also a palindrome. But if the list is 1, 2, 3, then it's not a palindrome. The tricky part here is that a singly linked list can't be easily traversed backwards. Arrays don't have this problem, so the most straightforward way is to use an array. First, store all the node values into an array. Then use two pointers, one starting at the front and one at the end, and compare the values step by step. If any pair doesn't match, it's not a palindrome. But if all pairs match until the pointers meet, then it is a palindrome. This method is very intuitive. The time complexity is O-N, but the space complexity is also O-N, because we need the extra array. So, is there a more efficient way? Yes, one that only uses O-1 extra space. Let's walk through the idea using the list. 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Step 1. Use the fast and slow pointer technique to find the middle of the list. The slow pointer moves one step at a time, while the fast pointer moves two steps. When the fast pointer reaches null, the slow pointer stops at the second three, which is the middle. Step two, reverse the second half of the list. So the part, three, two, one, becomes one, two, three. Step three, compare the two halves, node by node. The first half is one, two, three. The second half is also one, two, three. They match perfectly, so this list is a palindrome. Now let's look at a non-palindrome example. One, two, three, four, five. The middle is three. Reverse the second half, and you get five, four, three. Comparing the halves, one, two does not match five, four, three, so it's not a palindrome. This approach still runs in O-N time, but the space complexity is reduced to O-1, making it more efficient. Here's the Python implementation of this method. The code has three steps. First, use fast and slow pointers to find the middle of the list. Second, reverse the second half. Third, compare the two halves. If any pair doesn't match, return false. If all match, return true. One final note. If the problem requires the list to remain unchanged, you can simply reverse the second half again after the check to restore the original structure.